Did that make any sense to you? Me neither. You probably haven't heard of a channel called Jimmy Maximum, but you're about to. And it's weird. It is a YouTube channel that has been around since May 2016, and it has roughly 30,000 videos on its channel. To give you an idea from when Jimmy Maximum first set up their channel, in May 2016 to about today, that's about 300 days. With 30,000 videos on the channel, that means that whoever runs this channel has to post on average 40 videos a day. So that's the first bizarre thing. Now let's actually get into the videos, which make no sense whatsoever. The videos tend to be around 17 to 30 seconds long and just show randomness. Coding what looks like weird Microsoft Paint art, faces and bizarre sounds. Sometimes just noises, other times animal sounds, or just background noise like from a restaurant. And the descriptions, they give us no further clue as to the message behind either. Most videos only have a handful of views at most, with many having none at all. The About section of the channel is blank. Some people have investigated, thinking it's a possible A or G, but nothing has been found out and nobody has a clue where to begin. The videos are changing however, if you go back to the beginning, the videos look well, like a potato. They just look like glitches to me. Then over time you can see the colours change, it starts to go blue and faces come into it. Then the shapes become more defined. One video has the title of a website, www.chinapowercords.com. That takes you to an actual power cord company in China, it doesn't seem to be a secret cover name or anything. One of the only leads I found regarding this was on a forum. Someone posted the channel looking for more information about it, and others commented that it looks like the text encoding we see on the channel. It's something called Temple OS, which was created by a fella named Terry Davis. Never hearing of a fella named Terry Davis before myself, I did a quick Wikipedia of him. Terry Davis suffered from manic depressive episodes and was hospitalized. While there, he claimed he spoke with God, who told him to build an operating system. Okay. And so he did, called Temple OS. It was released five years ago, and from what I can tell, would have been better used on a computer in the 60s than today. But hey, this operating system is for God's third temple, so at least it's got that going for it. Though Terry himself seems much more interesting than Jimmy Maximum. The videos on his website, www.templeos.com, they're fascinating. Check it out. It's like, do you feel like dancing? Like, you should only dance if you feel like dancing. It's like... Do you have a sense of beauty? Do you have a, do, you, do you feel the music, you know? Hey, there's a guy over here. The Irish pretty much got their freedom. They got a nice country and like uh, it's uh, excellent, right? 
Like, I'm like the genuine fucking IRA or Irish nobility. So I just made an epic speech, and of course, I lost it. So, so anyway, you ever give like once in a lifetime performance and then discover like the record was not pressed? Yeah. It happened twice. <laughs> So as it turns out, uh, I, I built the Jewish Third Temple. Uh, I'm uh, I'm the high priest by the order of Melchizedek, wherever the fuck that is. So among my people, I'm known as Little Terry, cause like there's Big Terry, right? So uh, Little Terry, also known as Tad. So uh, I just I had to take a piss. As far as I know. We're not like nuking any particular ethnicity. So like, you know, this one is a particular chisel. That one's a particular chisel. The Bible says the Medes were a certain people that didn't value gold and silver, right? And we already said that, uh, uh, Nick. So how does this bring us back to Jimmy Maximum? There's no mention of that YouTube channel on his website. The only clues we have as to what this all means is in the related channel section of the page. The first one there is Global Worldwide. Why? 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 Very similar to Jimmy Maximum in that it posts very, very, very regularly and just random stuff. Uh, this one is believed, though, I understand, to be an art project. So does this make Jimmy Maximum an art project too? Well, no. Um, but this, I guess, is all we really have to go on for now. Uh, that's the only kind of clue we have, only lead we have as to what is the message behind this. We don't know who Jimmy Maximum is, don't know who runs the channel, who uploads. It must be, uh, unless they have some kind of automated program uploading the videos, it's obviously a full-time job, 40 videos a day. There must be some kind of automated thing, but maybe he has a computer program that make the videos off algorithms and they upload it as well. I have no idea. It's just an idea. I don't know. It's really weird. I'll leave a link to the YouTube channel in the description of this video, so go take a look for yourself, see if you can find anything. Um, there's 30,000 videos on the Jimmy Maximum YouTube channel, so I'm sure I probably missed quite a bit. Um, but maybe you guys will find something. Let us know, let me know here in the comments if you do. And as always, please let me know what you think of this story in the comments below. Take care of yourselves, people. Mike out.